It literally looks like the wardrobe in Clueless. This is the fit today and actually I don't hate it. It's not doing it for me. I'm like a big bag lady. I look chuggy. I wasn't expecting to come to you fresh out of the gym, but here we are. I recently discovered an app called Wearing. I believe it was on Dragon's Den. You might have heard of it as well. I'd never used it before, but I heard that you import your clothes and then it will pick outfits for you. And we're just gonna see how it does, basically. We're gonna see how it holds up, how intelligent the artificial intelligence actually is. I am deeply skeptical. So yesterday I started importing my clothes. I've got the majority of my everyday wardrobe at the moment in there. I think I'll add a few extra bits kind of going through a bit more methodically today. But we're gonna start this morning and pick the first outfit. It literally looks like the wardrobe in Clueless, one of my favorite films. I'm nervous because it's a really warm week in the UK. So I noticed a few things while I was importing stuff yesterday. So it's meant to be super simple. You just upload a photo and the AI does the rest of the work categorizing it and also removing the background. So it's just got a white background. It ends up looking like Polyvore if you ever use that website. So I went through and uploaded a bunch of clothes and then I went back through and just checked to see how everything was categorized. I didn't do it all perfectly, but I just made sure to remove any glaring errors. I realized that there is a season selector as well, which is so good, but I didn't select seasons for every item just because it would have taken up so much time. But things that are obviously winter, I <laughs> put winter on because I really don't want to get a coat. Not in this weather. It was pretty much on the money, but sometimes there were some errors, especially in terms of fabric and the texture of fabrics. I had to remove so many vertical stripe labels and random patterns that just weren't on the fabric at all. And sometimes it doesn't categorize color correctly, especially blacks and whites, which really surprised me because I imported a lot of photos directly from the websites, um, the e-com photos, which usually are on a white background and very well lit. But hey, you can't have everything and I'm sure it's learning as more users are on board the other thing as well is cohorts are a bit complicated. I've just loaded in my cohorts as a play suit because I couldn't find any photos of my cohorts as separate items, as just the shorts and just the shirts. If I were using this and if I decide to use this regularly, I will import them separately because I think it's better for you know the versatility of the items. The main reason that I'm doing this is because I find around this kind of time, it's August now, I'm heading into September, I get a bit itchy for transitional shopping. I want to freshen up my wardrobe, I want some updates, but I have to remember that there's so much already that I have and all of those things can be reworn and reused in new and exciting ways that fit my style right now. Anyway, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Okay, she's showered, she's clean. Let's find an outfit. Okay. Oh, it's done it. It's done it for me. I didn't even need to press the shuffle. It's a lot of clothes, boys and girls. It's a lot of clothes. This is what we're working with. Another thing that makes this app slightly more confusing is that you can't really put in the lengths of stuff. So it's recommended I wear a top that is actually really oversized and I don't think would make any sense with the rest of the outfit. Okay, we're gonna put on this outfit and see how we do. I've also noticed they didn't suggest a bag. Maybe I'll just pick a bag? <laughs> I'll stand on my bed. This is so big on me. And then these jeans are also like, they're mid-rise and they're meant to be a bit loose. So yeah, this, mm, it's not doing it for me, but what I might do to stay in with the vibe is to just wear this shirt. I'll just put on some little bike shorts underneath and this can be my like oversized shirt outfit. And then I will wear the trainers that were suggested. And then we'll have two out of three items at least. This is outfit number one. Uh, these are the shoes. These are the New Balance 530. And then they don't select accessories for you, which I thought was quite weird, but whatever. So I have chosen this bag here, and then popped on my sunglasses as well. So yeah, this is outfit number one. Good morning. We're gonna see what the app has picked out for me today. I truly don't know. Today's a pretty chill day. I am just filming and editing. So really, only here up is on show. Pick today's outfit. This, I thought it was gonna come up with a suggestion. Get outfit suggestion. Maybe that's what we wanna do. Error getting suggestions. Right, so today's outfit is, hmm, it's my oversized linen shirt with my tennis skirt 
and my hokas. I don't like it. For me personally, this shirt would not fit with this, but look, we're gonna try it. When you see it, you'll understand. I'm like a big bag lady. And when you see the back of this, you kind of maybe understand a bit more. It's a really, really long shirt. So I'm going to go through the tops again on the app and see if it will randomly match me with something else. Okay, so I can pin, pin, and then I can shuffle the top. It's matched me with a shoe. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, I just swiped along and there's this little black top. So maybe I do the black top, the skirt, and the shoe. Thing is, right, and this is so niche, but when you film, you don't necessarily want to wear black. It kind of sets the color a bit wrong when you're filming. I don't know why, but like, with also color detect software, I guess, in your camera. It just doesn't really like black. Okay, I've pressed shuffle again and it's come up with this little white vest top, the skirt, and the New Balance 550s. I think that will be fine. And then I've taken it to this edit outfit section and it's just so strange. It just doesn't work that well. Choose the outfit, let's put it on. This is today's outfit. I quite like it. Do you like it? Simple, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does the job. I'm just aware I'm filming today, so I wanted my top half to be more exciting. <laughs> We've been through this. Cool, see you tomorrow. I'm in a rush today. I'm going to get my hair done today. I never wear makeup when I go and get my hair done. It feels just kind of pointless. So, let's get dressed. Again, that's not gonna work. Maybe I should go on the full length section because it's like 30 degrees, this outfit wouldn't work. I mean, I could wear this. I will feel very insecure. Okay, well, it looks like it's gonna be the Air Forces and my little dress and my Skims dress. I mm, really don't wanna wear that today. Okay, well, let's stick with the Air Forces. I'm not wearing leather trousers today. Okay, today has just been so much harder than it needed to be. This is making me realize, as an experience, my wardrobe isn't very versatile. I don't have a lot of things that bring outfits together. I have a lot of basics, but I don't have a lot of things that add like pizzazz. Maybe we do just wear the Skims dress. Skims dress and Air Forces outfit on. I feel like I just look so basic. Is that bad? I thought, what's doing the vibe of the dress, but cooler. And it is my leotard. It's got that same sculpting all black thing, just with a bit more leg. And then this shirt kept coming up, so I've popped it over the top. I will just put my Air Forces on. And again, like, oh, I've done it up wrong. <laughs> again, it's like, what bag? I wish it kind of gave more. Like I need more help. I want it to dress me. The outfit's okay. I would definitely wear this. And that's because I picked it myself. This is today's outfit. I've gone with the Air Force Ones that were recommended by the app and then the rest is kind of from my own imagination. But yeah, not a successful day on the wearing app. Back once again with the Renegade Master. It is time to get dressed. I hope you're enjoying seeing my bed get gradually more disheveled <laughs> as the week goes on. Yes, and I've had my hair done. I don't know if this is relevant right now, maybe I'll cut this out, but yeah, I got a money piece with a kind of like ready auburn color and the rest is just like a nice warm brown. I'm living my Emily from Skins dream. Today it's 33 degrees, no pressure. I have low hopes for this app today. However, I think I need to reframe it and actually realize that my wardrobe doesn't do everything I need it to do. Um, especially the bottoms. I really don't have many light airy bottoms. Why does it think that this is a top? Okay, so I think we just cut this all short and we pick a bottom is I'm gonna screenshot this and then I'm going to go to the all-in-one outfit section and shuffle that and then whatever bottom half I get there I'll wear I mean that works sure sure it's not what I want to wear but it's what I shall wear honestly infuriating whoever did the techers for this needs a stern talking to this is today's outfit again not mad keen on it it is what it is. And there we have it, my little OOTD. It also makes me realize I could do so much more with accessories. This has been a really helpful exercise for learning more about my wardrobe. Respectfully, I hate this outfit. I feel like I look like a millennial. I look chuggy. I feel like this gives mum dropping kids off at school. It doesn't look that bad in the mirror. It's just not what I would choose to wear ever. But it feels like something I might have worn in like 2020. Not right now. I think my wardrobe's just got a bit of catching up to do. Also, I don't know if you can see this, but peep my outrageous sock tan line. I don't know how much you can see, but this is what the room looks like at the end of the week. You're welcome to judge me. New outfit from Dress Me. 
I mean, I can wear this. I don't want to. Uh, I'll let you nap choose your outfit. I oh, know. That you don't like and will still wear it because the yeah, outfit told you. It's, you've got to do cake. It's a labour of love. It's in the name of science really, isn't it? Yeah. This is the outfit that wearing's picked out for me today. Do I think I'm going to stick with these shoes? Probably not. Am I going to roast? Because it's 33 degrees. Yes, I am. I don't think it's a vibe. But hey, what's done is done. Well, I look like I'm off to some bizarre gym. <laughs> a group. <laughs> it's a baseball tournament added like element. I think the the fit's kind of like um, you know those people that teach like water aerobics at all yes. the resorts. Yeah, channeling water aerobics at a, at a resort today. I do like it though. A very gay one. Where are but the these from? these socks are fun. They're great. We like the fancy socks. We do. Where are the shorts from as well? I like the colour. Shorts are Adidas and this was thrifted. <gasps> yeah. Thrifting, because we are, you know, I don't know what we are. Secondhand sustainable bellies? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is the final day, and we're gonna get dressed. Let's whip out the big guy itself. Again, the first thing it's come up with is a shoe, a skirt, and a boot. And again, something that doesn't make sense. The other thing is, I wish somehow it would know what clothes were clean because half of this stuff isn't clean anymore. I've had to wash everything. Maybe I pin the Burks and I pin that and then I just, oh God. Oh, do I have to wear this today? We're gonna shuffle again. I'm sorry. White t-shirt, long skirt, Birkenstocks. I really, really need a summer bag, don't I? It's so evident here. I really don't have that many bags. Okay, let's get dressed. This is the fit today and actually I don't hate it. Skirt is fun but I would love it in a different colour because the way that it stretches really does accentuate my stomach and whatever you know do I care that much right now no I feel so much more body confident at the moment and I'm loving it and I don't care if there's a bit of pooch I'm like so what so yeah we have the skirt with little burkies I am wearing this t-shirt this is from theory and like yeah sure it's a bit tight here whatever my body wasn't really designed for low-rise stuff because I have quite a short torso and quite a like indented waist like I will always do stuff that's more high-waisted you know what? I think it's fun I'm enjoying playing with trends so yeah I like it this is the fit and then obviously my favorite bag and I just think I really want more bags not loads more but two or three more to add into my regular rotation because right now I am wearing all the bags I have I wear them so often I don't hate it I don't hate it so what are my overall reflections after using wearing for a week specifically to plan my outfits I love the idea of the app and I love most of the functionality of it too. I especially love that there's a stat section where you can see the percentage of your wardrobe that you're actually wearing. It might prompt people to reflect on their wardrobe contents and actually clear some stuff out and shop more thoughtfully in the future. I think this can only be a positive step for sustainability in fashion. Ultimately, my philosophy is you should have a versatile wardrobe that you want to wear and keep for years. And not every item you purchase is gonna make that, but hopefully the majority do. And I think wearing is really helpful for that. So we used the dress me feature for a lot of the video and unfortunately I found that it didn't always categorize the clothes correctly. And I don't know if that's because I have put in the metadata wrong. I think I've put it in correctly. I also found it frustrating that the app couldn't pick accessories for you. I would have loved it to select my sunglasses and my bag every time I got dressed. I don't know if this is a summer format or a winter format. I also want to know how they do coats. <laughs> Cause at the moment this is a three man option and they are rotating t-shirts in with sweatshirts and jumpers as like an interchangeable item. Whereas I believe that a t-shirt is very different to a jumper and I would wear them differently. So I wonder if when we get to winter, it will somehow change to have four sections, not three. I really love how easy it is to upload your items. You just have to find a picture of an item that looks similar and wearing will do the work for you. It is artificial intelligence and it does a great job. And I assume that the more people that use the app, the better it will learn. In general, the outfits selected logically worked, but sometimes I was thinking, I wish this could be more specific. Like just today I got suggested a green striped shirt with this like mustardy camel color skirt. And I guess it just, can't tell that those things really would not go together. Another thing I found frustrating about the functionality was how difficult it was to move and resize the items when you were putting together an outfit in that like polyvore style window. That was just really so much harder than it should have been. Stuff like inputting cohorts, I wish there was a way 
that I could import those pieces separately. But unfortunately, when people do e-com shoots, they tend to shoot those items always together. And so they're kind of hard to separate visually. There ain't no technology that's gonna fix that. But yeah, in terms of Waring's functionality, I just love the fact that you can program in outfits. This is something, obviously, having used it a week, I haven't yet fully taken advantage of but you can build outfits in your own time, document them and save them in the app and it will suggest them to you. So you just have a library of outfits that you've put together yourself. The dress me feature is not the main seller of the app. I just want to try it out. So many days I get up and I think I have no idea what to wear and an app like this could just really, really help shave time off my morning and just make sure I look fit and I'm comfy and I feel confident and that is what I want from a wardrobe app. So yeah, just overall a really fun week. I really enjoyed trying out the app. I'll link all of it below. Have you tried any wardrobe apps and how did they work for you? Did you enjoy them? Do you think this is a good solution for you personally? Do you use a spreadsheet? Let me know. My sustainable girlies, I would love to know how you make sure that you are taking advantage of everything in your wardrobe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to watch something similar, I've just put together a video about outfits you could wear when you have nothing to wear. So yeah, go and give that a watch if you'd like to. I will chat to you in my next video.